93.3 KZOZ FM, San Luis Obispo. The home of Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. They have no chemistry at all. It's Dumbass of the Day brought to you by our buddies up there in the Tascadero on Gusta Road. Peterson's U Cart. That's right. Peterson, the letter U Cart.com is their website. They've got everything you need to get your yard going or keep going for spring, including uh, Walk On Burke right now is 10% off. Yeah. And, and if you live in a Tascadero, uh, they'll offer free delivery, too. You can also take advantage of the deals they have on garden soil, compost, gravel, rock, boulders, and uh, much more. I saw, I saw on Facebook your wife was posting a lot of pictures of you just with just cartfuls of plants. Yes. And she wrote, I love picking out plants or something like that. And I was thinking, I was laughing because I was thinking, I bet Jeff loves planting them. God, roots. Does she help you plant them? Or no. Do you- God, no. Like, when you were gone on vacation, like, there were nights where I was up, like, with a lantern up on my retaining wall and floodlights. I'm taking my floodlights on the house and pointing them at certain strategic areas to where I'm going up there and I'm, I was planting stuff. Because once you get plants, you've got to plant them, you know. Otherwise, they're going to go bad sitting in the in the planters. So you you got to get to it, man. You got to get to it, Skippy. Can you just water them in the planters? You can, and I did for days, but I mean, 19 plants. 19 plants is a lot of holes, Doug. A lot of holes, Doug. <laughs> so I was up until like 1030 some nights. All right. Well, breaking, they didn't, breaking roots down from below the soil. They don't do plants at Peterson's Ucar, but they do pretty much everything, everything else for your to, landscape. To make your plants look good. Yeah. Definitely. Hey, let's do dumbass of the day. Wah, 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 wah. It's so weird how everybody sounds different in the world. You know what I mean? Like you go 2,000 miles one way, people sound different. You go 2,000 miles another way, they sound different. I went to Hawaii. They don't even use consonants, man. They just use vowels and they don't care that you're confused. Like I went down to the concierge to ask them how to get someplace. I sound like an idiot. I was like, yeah, how do you get to Uliawa Owaiya? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looks at me all smug, and this is what he says. He goes like this. <laughs> That's it, Uli Wa Ya Wa Owa. I'm like, cool, jerk. How do you get there? This is what he says to me. He's like, simple. Out of the hotel, take a left on the Wea O O, right on Aya E E. Another right on the Wea O E E. That becomes Aya A A. There's a fork in the road. Don't take Aya O O, you'll get lost. Take a left on Aya 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 Take a right on the wheel, o e e, left on a e a a, a right on a u a u u, a left on e e a e a a, and then a right on a o e e e e e e e e e e. A half an hour later, I'm on a o o like where's e e e? Where's e e e? I sound like an angry dolphin. I'm just e e e e e e e. Dumbass of the day, ninety three point three K Z O Z. This is uh, this might be my favorite story and make you want to think about that whole rush to take a vacation thing in a post-pandemic world. (laughs) This is is terrible. Okay, so Disney World's been open for a while, and the resorts around uh, Disney World have followed suit. And they're like, okay, well, Disney World's open to back up. We can open back up. We can do all this stuff. Um, This happened last week, and we forgot to mention it yesterday. The Champions World Resort in Kissimmee which is just located just three miles away from Disney World. So a lot of people that go to Disney World and are looking to ball on a budget will stay outside of... The- we've talked about it, but I know we've talked to... I mean, that sounds familiar. Kiss Me, Florida. Yeah, it's where everything is. It's the water slide parks, the Legolands, the Universal Studios. It's the... All that stuff is there in Orlando. Kiss Me is part of Orlando, and that's kind of the epicenter of theme park land. Um... Victoria Kendo flew her family to Central Florida from Rhode Island for a relaxing two-week vacation. But on Thursday, they got a knock on their door at the Champions World Resort in Kissimmee, Florida. And it was it was information that they weren't expecting. Listen to this. You know, COVID, it's been tough. So we're trying to have a good time. And she's like, you guys have to pack your stuff and leave. She said, you guys have till 4 o'clock. The property is sold. The property is sold. They sold what? the hotel. And whoever they sold the hotel to 
Wasn't going to honor the... They're like, everybody's got to be out. Employees, everybody. Staff fired immediately on the spot. And when the staff was fired on the spot, they had to get everybody else that was staying in the hotel. Screw you. Out of the hotel. What if it was like your second day of a week vacation? I'm like, no, I paid for this. We're staying here. The hotel employees who, by the way, were just told, you fired. <laughs> in my best Yeah, I'm not going up and kicking people out of their rooms after you fire and me. And we need you to go door to door telling everybody that. No. That we're like, uh. Wait, I just lost my job. I'm not gonna. I'm yeah. not gonna have that confrontation. Yeah. If there must be some damn hazard pay or a bonus or some kind of uh, severance if Bad I go. Management. If I go through the, you tell uh, everybody they have to kick everybody out of the hotel because it's sold, and then after you do that, the next day you fire them. Jesus. That's pretty crappy. But whoever bought the hotel, they bought it under the conditions that everybody has to leave the premises right now, and the people that own the Champions World Resort. Screwed a lot of people over. I got to think there's a lot to the of deal yeah. on that. Well, they what you do is you don't terms. book rooms. Then what? You know what I mean? You book up until that day, and then you, well, you don't. have no idea when your if your property's for sale when it's going to sell. But you write into there a clause that says if we're going to sell you this property, you have to give us at least a couple weeks to clear out the premises and let people know, like this lady that or give us a date two week a two week vacation from Rhode Island. Going to the various theme parks around the greater Orlando area. She'll have a lawsuit. But it sucks because it ruined her trip. Who do you sue? And now what do you do? How do you get blood from a stone? Well, well you get an attorney somebody and you go after like, the company we that... Sold, we, sold the, we sold the property. Sorry. No, you go after the people that, that, that sold you a terms. room that you couldn't stay in. You don't think that in, in, the, in, the, in the agreement, when you sign that, that little tiny print uh, paragraph that, that, that says if the hotel gets sold, uh, then you have to leave the premises... I'm sure it's in there somewhere. No way it's in there. I'm sure it is. It's going to be the first. And it's pretty crappy that the people that bought the hotel, well, they didn't want to pay for it. I mean, I can't really say it's their fault. I'd say the people that sold the hotel no, they're screwed terrible all people. of their yes, clients they over. they absolutely did because they could have not sold on those terms, but they sold on those terms. And that's that. And I guess you got to broker that deal, you know, whatever, whatever the cost is, could you imagine? <laughs> Being, you're just settling in. You're getting there. Thursday's your first day there. <laughs> they're like, I'm sorry, we uh, got to go have in your 40 room. minutes. You mean you don't have my room? Well, we just sold the hotel. <laughs> right? But what about the ones that were already there for a couple of days? Say you got there on Tuesday, and you're like, all right, got a nice two week long vacation. We're gonna hit up Universal. It's Lego spring Land. break too. I we're mean, gonna go. To, oh, it's places the are worst packed. time. The worst timing places to do are this. Packed, yeah. These places are packed, and not only that, because they're packed because people got budget deals, budget deals on travel during spring break during you just this time. Go home, just go home. Sorry, kids. Or do you try to find an Airbnb or something, a motel, whatever? I don't know. A red roof inn. Remember that red roof inn we yeah, stayed at in I Tucson? Did. The only one I've ever stayed in. No. Oh no 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 no! That was a good one. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I thought the one in Tucson was good. It was the one in Oregon that sucked. The one in Tucson. Were you in Oregon? No, I've never stayed at a Red Roof Inn. The only time I ever stayed at a Red Roof Inn was the one in Tucson. And I stayed That's at the right. Red Roof Inn in Tucson, and I walked down to the front desk because we were traveling, and I didn't bring, I didn't pack shampoo or conditioner. I went down there. I said, hey, uh, there's no shampoo and conditioner in the room. He goes, yeah, it's a Red Roof Inn. That's right. <laughs> like, what Wait, does that mean? Where does like, we don't provide shampoo and conditioner? I do remember that place was yeah. Oh, are you kidding bu- me? He's like, no, you got to go across the street to the CVS and get some. Uh- <laughs> the, but was that the 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 place that gave us the shuttle to the bars and back, or was that a different hotel? I just remember we stayed somewhere and they had a van and they took us down to the bars. No, and that was back Phoenix. Out. That oh, was that was, that was nice. just a total. That was a Sheridan. Sorry, that, that was, was not a red roof. Have a good memory. I'll, I've had a yeah. There was a lot of. Alcohol. The Red Roof Inn sucks. Yeah. Sorry, Red Roof Inn, but I don't, we didn't have a good There's experience. no Red Roof Inns around here. I'm not going <laughs> to offend anybody. I'm giving a travel tip right now. <laughs> oh, but it doesn't suck as bad as the Champions yes. World Resort in Kissimmee, Florida. You're Jeff and Jeremy's. Dumbass of the day. 93.3 KZOC. Don't be a dummy when it comes to your landscape supplies. Go to Peterson Ucart on Gusta Road, just north of Quickie Car Wash in Atascadero. We love Ucart, you stay. 
Jeff and Jeremy here online at KCOZ.com. You can win that $20 gift card to go to Federico's. Take your company to lunch. Take your cell phone if you're really hungry. It's Taco Tuesday, which means you can load up on tacos. 250 tacos. $4 beers? Yes, $4 beers. 250 tacos. So All day long. That's not just a happy hour thing, too. So. Oh, that's a pretty good deal. Uh, so that that's how it lays out here on Taco Tuesday with Federico's. Federico's Fresh Mex, SLO.com. They're on Higuera Street at the base of the Wyman. $20 is yours if you know the show. Coming up, we do that at 940. I just overheard you talking with somebody out in the bullpen saying that you were, you were, um, you felt bad because you didn't get a chance to meet up with somebody that's from this area that happened to be in Mexico. On vacation, on, yeah. At the same time. It was about 20 minutes away. I used to be of the thought process that you needed to do this until my wife like set me straight on this. I think we went somewhere and somebody that we knew was just an acquaintance, not like a close friend, just an acquaintance, happened to be in the same place at the at the same time. It was in Hawaii. And I was like, oh, we should meet up with son and son son. She's like, why? We don't even meet up with them at home. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I haven't been, I mean, I've been to this guy's house, but I haven't seen this guy in years. A couple years, you know? I was like, That's a very good point. Like, why would I go on vacation to see this person and, and make a point? Like, what's going to be that? Like, that's weird. So uh, you're in Hawaii. I'm in Hawaii, too. Ooh, well, wow. we had a third party get involved and said that knew both of us, and had both of our phone numbers, and said, hey, Jeremy, Bobby's down there, and you should go see him. I'm oh, well, he's he's in Cabo. I'm in San Jose. And he's like, oh, well, uh, you know, and I, so then he reached out, and I said, oh, man, I'm coming into town on Wednesday. Oh, Let's that's even worse, worse when a third party gets involved because yeah. now there's pressure from you to make the third party happy and there's pressure from Bobby party to make the third party happy. Right. And you guys might not necessarily want to meet with each other because you're on vacation. Well, you know, they got plans. I got plans. But you could have met here on a, like a Tuesday for lunch. Yeah, maybe we will. We'll talk about our Taco Tuesday. That that we didn't get, get, you go. get together. <laughs> and I was like, why do we have this need to find out? Like if somebody that we know Happens to be like because you're so far away from home, and then you're like, ah, this is kind of cool to see this. My worst uh, nightmare is somebody I know that I've been see, that I've not seen for a while, that I'm amicable with. We're an acquaintance. We're not quite a friend. Ned Flanders, yeah, is that, or what's his name? In- <laughs> that we are at the same resort on vacation. Yeah, because then what the hell do you do? Yeah, now it's uh, like you at least in your feel- case. He was well. This away. happens, right? Like the first day we're there, uh, of course, Jeremy's tequila day. Uh, you know, I'm making friends with everybody, and this guy from Chino Hills is there. His oh, name God. is Adam, and we're talking oh, in the God. pool and all this kind of stuff. And then the next day, I see him, and I kind of keep my head down, and I'm walking over here, and he's like, "Jeremy," I'm like, "Hey, what's going on, man?" Or maybe his name was Nick. I can't remember. But anyways, he was like, "Hey, we're going to the pool." I'm like, "All right, yeah, I was I had too much tequila yesterday. I'll see you later." And then the rest of the week, I felt like I was avoiding him. Yeah, because you don't want to. Well, well, the timing was just bad, you know? It was just never, yeah, so. Remember that party day I was telling you about earlier on the cruise? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I call it it the Tom Brady Gronk hour. (laughs) And (laughs) and this is like our third or fourth cruise. And they do this thing where they have to teach you the rules of wearing a life jacket and where you go if the boat yes, starts going. the mustard station, yeah, right? Must- you have to go to the mustard station. It's mustard, not mustard. Oh, mustard, sorry. <laughs> I've only been on one cruise. Mustard. The mustard station's at the buffet. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and we're sitting there in this hot tub, and I'm like, well, let's sit in this back hot tub where nobody's at, and then maybe they won't see us. But they got cameras all over the boat so they can see us and everything. So we're talking to this couple, and... Come to find out, you the mo- who's the most annoying person that you could meet on a vacation? The one upper. Yeah, what profession is nothing but one upper? Sales. Okay, it's sales to some extent. This guy did a morning radio show. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I don't even think of that as a profession. <laughs> Shoot. It, Yes, way more than knowing themselves. In Flint, when you meet anybody that were oh god in Flint, Michigan, so I'm sitting there. Oh, and even like, worse. And he's like, he's like, yeah, my job. Uh, you know, I, I get all kinds of perks from my job, of course. And I was like, I was like, oh yeah, what do you yeah. do? You ever meet Aaron Lewis from Stain, bro? <laughs> yeah, he's been to my house. It passed out on my couch. He goes, 
He goes, yeah, I'm going to try to get some things uh, comped on this trip. And I was like, cool. And we're sitting there in the boat. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to see if I could tour the bridge uh, some point during the time. And, oh, no. And I was, like, I was like. Because he's what? Because he works in radio? He's a morning district. And he thought the, the captain would let him up there? He, no. Keep in mind. I'm Here's there, the deal. People I'm, I'm in there, radio think they're superstars. Jeff and I don't. I, I, it, and my wife happens to be in radio but, too, and she also works in the morning. She also and, does not and, think she and is. she does not think she's a superstar. And this guy told us, and we kind of look at each other, and we make, we're like, we're not telling him what we do at all. We're not telling him what we do. So he's going on and on about how great he is and how great uh, you know he's he's the he's the zoo guy from from Flint, Michigan, and he's going to go on the on the bridge. And all that stuff. And then whenever I see this guy, because we made this connection, he's like, he's got to, he's got to show me that he's, he's connected on the boat. But the rest of the boat, you're trapped on a boat. You can't go far from these people. You can't go more than a half mile away from them. In best case scenario, right? You're stuck in the ocean on a boat with these clowns. And he's like, he's like, hey, Jeff, I'm going to go up to the steakhouse next. The steakhouse is a premium, you know? He's like, you guys should join us. And I'm like, no, oh, it's cool. You guys, you take care of your perks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if I, I would have told him what we did for uh, a living, he would have been towing us around everywhere. Uh, no, it would have been a constant one upper. Oh, well, you did this. Well, guess what? Well, well you did this. Wait, what did you do for April Fool's Day last year? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, where did your station send you? Oh, because they sent us to Vegas, bro. We were there for a week. And the, and he. Oh yeah, well, you know, he did we get did. a deal on the cruise, yeah, and I was thinking, oh, maybe I should exercise those mm-hmm. capabilities. But then I don't want to be that guy, you know. Here's one of our radio buddies, and he says, "Hey, that one time Jared Leto just hung out with me for an hour at a blood drive." Yeah, Jared Leto was in a band called Thirty Seconds to Mars. Yeah, Jared Leto is an actor, famous actor. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe maybe then it is more. Yeah, he was in what Dallas, whatever big Dallas African. Thing. Oh, it's so uh, that is. That post that you just <laughs> that is so- shared with me is soul, so soul crushing. <laughs> I have an aunt that reaches out to me all the time. I've talked to this aunt for years and years and years and years. My dad doesn't even like his sister, okay? And 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 she's like she's like, hey, uh, did you meet anybody famous lately? Because uh, she's kind of like a rock and roll groupie type of aunt, yeah. you know, yeah. back in her day, yeah. and. Um, and uh, and I just I don't even respond to her when she emails me or she says something to me on Facebook. I, I it's like it's like I can't. Why don't you just tell her you got out of radio? Just say hey, no, I quit. Uh, insurance salesman. Yeah, I, I sell. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna start telling people. I'm sorry, I'm an insurance salesman. Then they'll leave me alone. Whoa, Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. All right, so uh, I saw a new study here. Good morning, by the way. It's Jeff and Jeremy. Uh, you contact the program anytime via the 805 beer lines at 805 543 New survey says uh, Americans found that uh, half, 50%, say they don't have the same level of confidence they did prior to this pandemic that we've been sitting in for now over a year. Confidence in what? Just confidence. Their confidence level has dropped. 50% of the population says see it's low. Their, their, popu- their confidence of doing anything, going out... Going to get a haircut, going to the store, getting gas, going to work every day. Just I see. Being around I mean, it's other so funny people. that you bring this up because just over the weekend, I was commenting to my wife. I was like, uh, God, you know, I, I walked into the Vons down in Slow the other day because I would pick up something. And um, this this defeated body posture that people have as they're droning around with these masks on. And, and it, it is, it is, it is. It's slumped over, it's head down, it's looking at the ground. It's very, I mean, with many people, and it's usually people that are, I mean, the ones I noticed, and I noticed this several times walking around Vons, were people in their 50s and 60s. And, I mean, I know that this medical issue is more of a problem to them than it is to people that are younger, Um but it's like, man, they're just so. It's just it's it's depression. It, it, yeah, you know, it, yeah. it, be, it beats you down. I mean, I I, uh, I I look. Everybody looks at this different. Everybody treats it a little bit different. Um, I'm sure maybe once everybody that is really worried about it maybe gets their vaccine, they'll they'll feel much more confident. 
That wasn't the number one answer, by the way. It wasn't get a vaccine would make you feel confident. You know, most of the people said, or at least 52%, which was the number one answer on this, what would make them feel more confident is that they could go on vacation. Well, I hate to tell you, I just did. You can go on vacation. You can go on vacation. You can, you know, you may not be able to get on a cruise right now, but that's not that far away, but you can do other things to give yourself, go out and go for a hike, go do something, whatever it is that you need to do, you need to do it. We were at the hotel. So our thing is we always go down and we stay at a hotel the night before we catch the flight in the next morning and we were coming back from dinner and Charlene and I were in the, uh, uh, we, we hit the button, uh, to get the elevator up to the room and the door opens up and there's a guy in there and, uh, he's just looking at us and he's got a mask on and we got our mask on. And so we get in the elevator and the doors close and I could see that he was on the eighth floor and I think we were on the ninth or 10th. And he starts freaking out and he's hitting the door, open door, open door, open thing. And then he runs out. And I said, Hey, are you all right? Is everything okay? And he goes, Oh, it's fine. I just want to be by myself. <laughs> and the funny thing is in the elevators, you know, they what have you places to stand. You have places to stand. I don't know why he's there if he's on, but he had a bunch of food. Like he was taking it to his family. It couldn't have just been for him. It was a bu- couple bags of food. But, uh, yeah, people are really stressed out by this. Uh, let's see. Uh, people said, if I could just go get a haircut. Can you imagine if you haven't had a haircut in a year? I need to get a haircut, but it's just because I put it off. I got, I'm, I'm getting one I'm getting one myself this week. God, I um, so bad. 37% of people say they want a massage. Go get a massage. I mean, it depends on where you live. I know. I understand that. Like, if you're living in Los Angeles or... Um, you, yeah. you were telling we me live in a very you were telling me about area. going to the Marriott um, when you guys got back because you stayed the, you decided to stay the night down there because um, you came back later in the day um, and it was like a ghost town right I mean there was hardly anybody there and stuff like that in more metropolitan areas it is it is a pain in the butt to do these normal things and I understand why because the restrictions are much more daunting in those areas that's why people are moving to places like this um because the you know if this happens again then you know they're going to be stuck well, yeah what's going to happen if, if it happens again my here's our thing yeah jeff and jeremy here jeff over there jeremy over here we're here for you if you're feeling bummed out give us a call we'll give you some advice <laughs> maybe somebody else could give you some advice but you shouldn't be so depressed. My advice: and you should be less confident. Anybody, man, that, okay. anybody that's saddened by the the pandemic, you need to just try your best to do things as normal as possible. I got to be honest with you; I've not let this thing get to me in the least bit. I'll meaning, notice. meaning, change the way I do things outside of the fact that I wear a mask into a grocery store. Nothing has changed. You know Nothing what I'll say? Changed. The good news about I do the wash mask my is. hands a little bit more. That's yeah. it. There's some good things that have come out of this. I know a lot of people would disagree, but the efficiency that people spend in the store now is uh, is fantastic. My wife is one that could lollygag and you know whatever. Now she's she she wants to get the mask off. Oh, so yeah. be, and I think a lot of people because they want to get that mask. Now there's other people, man. They love the mask. They're walking around. It almost gives them confidence to have it on. I think they're driving in their cars by themselves with their mask on. I, I love the people. You you guys make my day every time I see that. Okay, they still smile. Inside. I want to talk to somebody. 805-543-3693, who is a person, and we might not have anybody listening to, because our, our attitude about this is, is Anybody crazy. who, like, what yeah. Is, what, is, what is the point? I, I want somebody I don't to think describe people, to me what the point of driving in the car no is. No one's going to call. I know, because I'm, no I'm one being listening very to condes- this. condescending in my tone There's and no asking somebody. There's no one listening somebody. to this that, is, uh, that, that drives with a mask on in their car by Outside themselves. Outside of the excuse of like, oh, I forgot I had it on, which I find myself doing sometimes. I've done that? Yeah. Sure, that's normal. Um, I, I, or I like to keep my face warm because I in the wintertime, it actually was a good way, especially early yep. in the morning, I put the mask on, keep my face warm, you know, breathe into my own face for a little bit. Keep it warm, then take it off once I get comfortable. Eight oh five five four three thirty six ninety three. I just want to you know can text why. too if you don't want to that or jogging or cyclist guy that um, also wears the mask while being out in the fresh open air by themselves wearing the mask 
Uh, I think they'll just call in and say because they don't want to get coronavirus and they don't want to spread. They're afraid they might spread it to someone else. Well, if you're in your car by yourself, you can't. And nobody could get it from you. What about if you're jogging down the road? You're jogging down the street. No one's around? Nobody's around. Yeah. 805 I, 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 I don't understand. If you want to just text us, that's fine. Because we're both very curious. Because if I had to jog wearing a mask, I would opt for not jogging. And if it's just be, to be extra safe, we're not going to judge you. I would get a treadmill. I would get an elliptical. I would do it at home. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.